Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the WP eStore Stripe checkout from a customer's point of view. Checking out with Stripe is a quick and easy process for your customers. It involves them entering in their basic billing and credit card details, followed by hitting the submit button. Offering Stripe appeals to those customers that prefer paying for goods and services with their credit card. If I landed on this page here as a customer wanting to purchase this item, I can do so by clicking the Add to Cart button. After I click the Add to Cart button, I am shown my cart with the name of the item I intend on purchasing. The quantity and price of the item is also displayed in the cart. Once I agree to the terms and conditions, I can choose my payment method. I simply click the drop down and for this demonstration, I'll be paying by credit card. Credit card represents a Stripe checkout. So once I choose credit card, I can now click the proceed to checkout button. I will now need to enter in my billing and my credit card details. Once I have filled in all mandatory fields, I can go ahead and submit my payment. It is also on the collect details page that I can see a description of what I am purchasing, the total shipping and tax that I will be charged. So I'll now scroll down and I'll enter in my billing information. Now that I've entered in my billing information, I'll go ahead and I'll enter in my credit card information. Now that I've entered in my credit card information and that my billing information is in, I can click the submit button. I have now successfully purchased the product and I have been redirected to a thank you page. It is here that site admin can provide their customers with added details about their purchases and a download link for digital products can also be added here. I can find the total cost of my purchase and my transaction ID as well. So I can see the total cost of my purchase was $1 and my transaction ID is here. Once an eStore Stripe transaction is complete, the customer will receive two emails, one from eStore and one from Stripe. One of these emails will also contain this download link if it is a digital product. We will now take a quick look at those emails. So after my successful payment, I received both the emails. This is the first of two emails and this one is the one that is sent from Stripe. You can see that it's got the amount that I paid, the date I paid it and the card I used. So this one's the first one that was from Stripe and the second email you receive is from the eStore. It's in this eStore email that the download link for a digital product can be found. Although please note that this download link is time sensitive. So your customers will need to download it as soon as possible. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on the WP eStore Stripe checkout from a customer's point of view. I hope that this video tutorial has given you an idea of how simple the Stripe checkout is for your customers.